have you ever seen juice being extracted from sugar cane the residue left behind contains long thin strands take a leaf of any plant and try to tear it across its width with your hands you might find that it is difficult to do so and you do not get a clean cut you can also see thread like structures running across its length these long thin thread like strands are called fibers fibers perhaps you have chewed a cardamom elaichi and found it difficult to swallow the fiber mass left after some time if you have eaten spinach you would have noticed the fibers present in its stalk The fibers present in our food are called dietary fibers. They are made up of cellulose. You have studied in chapter 2 that they form an important component of our food. Do the fibers present in non-edible parts of plant have any use for us? Of course, we can use them for making a lot of things. In animals fibers are present in muscles and also as hair fleece or fur these fibers are made up of long chains of proteins the process of turning fibers into fabric can be outlined as fiber to yarn fibers are generally thin and short in length when a bunch of fibers is pressed and twisted it can be converted into long strong threads called yarn the process of twisting fibers to make yarn is called spinning spinning can be done by using simple tools like hand spindle tuckli or a spindle charkha on a large scale spinning is done by modern spinning machines which produce stronger yarn of uniform thickness yarn to fabric the yarn produced from fibers can be converted into fabric by two main methods weaving take a piece of cloth and observe it through a magnifying lens you might see an arrangement of two sets of yarns running across one another weaving is done on devices called looms small looms which can be operated manually are called hand looms the fabric made on these is coarse and not very long on a large scale fabric is made on power looms in mills the fabric produced can be several meters long knitting have you ever seen your mother knitting a sweater have you noticed that only one ball of yarn is used for it a complete sweater can be knitted from just one long yarn mufflers vests t-shirts are some other examples of knitted clothes you may have also noted that if the yarn from a torn socks is pulled the entire socks can be unraveled knitting can be done by hands on long knitting needles or by machines knitted fabric is comparatively thicker protein chains fiber yarn fabric cloth finished product history of clothing very early man lived in caves to protect himself from cold he tied grass or leaves around himself it is believed that around 40000 years ago man invented needle which was made from bones the skins of animals were sewn together with needles using long plant fibers the larger skins were wrapped around the body and just joined at the shoulder man learned to weave the twigs and long grasses to make coarse cloth mats mattresses baskets etc slowly man learned to gather wool from sheep and turn it into cloth The skill of weaving was greatly improved in the older civilizations in China, Egypt, India, etc. Silk was first made in China in 3000 BC. Indians were the first people to make cotton cloth. 
टिल थर्टींथ और फोर्टींथ सेंचुरी पीपल मोस्टली वोर अनस्टिच क्लोथ साड़ी धोती लुंगी शॉल मफलर्स आर ऑल अनस्टिच आइटम्स ऑफ क्लोदिंग यूज इवन टूडे दीज आर जस्ट ड्रेप्ड अराउंड द बॉडी विद द डिवेलपमेंट ऑफ मशीन्स स्टिच क्लोथ बिकेम मोर पॉपुलर एज दे वर ईजी टू वेयर एंड मेनटेन These days you wear various kinds of dresses of many colors made from various fabrics and stitched in many different ways. Scientists are developing new kinds of fabrics which won't get dirty and will have a longer life. Types of fabrics. Fabrics can be classified on the basis of the fibers used to make them. Natural fabrics. These are made from natural fibers obtained from sources like plants or animals. Plant fibers can be obtained from various parts of a plant. They are biodegradable. Some important natural fibers, plant fibers, cotton. Cotton is obtained from cotton plant. Cotton plant is a small annual shrub. It grows in places having black soil. warm climate and plenty of rain in india cotton is grown in punjab rajasthan gujarat madhya pradesh maharashtra and tamil nadu the fruit of the cotton plant is a small green ball like structure called cotton ball it contains many seeds covered with hair inside it these hair are the cotton fibers on maturing the ball burst open the cotton is then collected it is very difficult to separate the fibers from seeds by hands large steel combs called gins are used for this purpose and therefore the process of removing seeds from the mass of cotton fibers is called ginning the gin cotton is pressed tightly into compact bundles called bales which are transported to factories Cotton yarn is spun from bales. It is then woven to make cotton fabric. The fabric after finishing is made into clothes, bed sheets, towels, rugs, etc. Jute. Jute is obtained from a plant called patsan. It grows in low-lying land with clay soil which gets plenty of rainfall. The outer part of its stem contains fibers. When flowers appear the plant is cut and immersed in a clean pond or slow running streams this is done to soften the fiber and to enable it to be removed from the stem this process is called retting the length of jute fibers is up to 2.5 meters jute is used to make packaging material sacks bags and even clothes mats Ropes, rugs can also be made from jute. It is one of the cheapest natural fibers. India, Bangladesh and Thailand are the main jute producing countries of the world. In India, jute is grown in the delta regions of river Ganga and Brahmaputra. Animal fibers. These can be obtained from hair of animals. Wool is obtained from fleece of sheep. Fleece of goat is used to make pashmina. Silk is made from the cocoon of silk worm. Wool. Wool is obtained from the hair on the body of sheep or goat. The process of removing hair from these animals is called shearing. The wool is processed to make yarn. which can be either weaved or knitted to make woolen clothes like coats sweaters mufflers etc woolen fibers retain a lot of air between them because of which they are fluffy they also trap the body heat so that they are good to wear in winters australia is the biggest producer of wool silk Silk or resham is a fiber used widely in India and other Asian countries. Silk is a natural protein fiber 
obtained from a protective covering called cocoon made by silkworm around itself. The process of growing silkworms on mulberry trees and obtaining silk from them is called sericulture. China, Japan, Thailand are main producers of silk. Synthetic fabrics, man-made fabrics. These are made from synthetic fibers made in factories from chemicals. These are produced on a large scale and are much cheaper than natural fabrics. Nylon, rayon, terylene, polyester are examples of synthetic fibers. Synthetic fibers are strong, of uniform thickness and very smooth. Synthetic fabrics do not have much space between their fibers and therefore do not allow air to pass through them easily. They are non-biodegradable. Blended fabrics the yarn of these fabrics is made by using both natural as well as synthetic fibers. You might have heard about terracotta clothes. These are made from both terry lane as well as cotton. Adding synthetic fibers to natural fibers increases the strength of fabric, makes it durable and easy to maintain because synthetic fiber is the strongest followed by mixed followed by natural fiber. Finishing of fabrics. The fabric is further bleached or dyed. Finishing is done to make it suitable for household use.